Today on Cabela's Deer Gear TV, we'll set up the latest feeder from American Hunter. We'll also look at the Cabela's Insurgent Compound Bow. And finally, we'll take the Performance Center M&P 10 out into the field. All that and more here on Cabela's Deer Gear TV. You know, feeders today for wildlife management come in a lot of different shapes and sizes from large scale, two ton industrial ones all the way down to small bag feeders for like 10 pounds. Each person in each feeder has its own time, its own need, its own application out there. For a lot of people, they like a feeder that they can basically pick up in a box, they can easily build, they can transport it in say a truck, they don't need to have a big trailer to be able to haul a lot of stuff, but they want the ability to have a large capacity feeder so that they don't have to go to the ranch or go to the farm or go to the deer lease all the time. Simply because it may be too far away or they just don't have time in the off season. That's why this American Hunter 440 pound KD feeder is definitely one that somebody looking for those needs and attributes should pay attention to, take a look at. Some of the great features that I like right away on this setup here is it's not a very high feeder. For a lot of people, I, I call it a stand and fill feeder, which is really nice for some of those remote off the beaten path locations. It also holds 440 pounds of, of corn. So when you start thinking about a guy that's got a long way to travel to his hunting location, maybe he can't get out there but once every month month and a half or even longer you can put you know almost nine bags at 50 pounds a bag of corn into this and then set your timers up to eight different feeds various amounts of time and you've got a low maintenance opportunity for your management of your game program in those types of situations when you start looking a little bit deeper into the construction of this i mean you've basically got you know, a very well-built frame on the bottom. It's steel with some galvanized steel leg supports that are gonna allow it to be able to be mounted and hold up to a lot of different weather conditions out there. It comes with a varmint cage, which is very important to keep the raccoons, the squirrels, and birds from getting in there. It's got the, the no-blow feeder cup, which is, is something on the spinner that I really like so that you're not wasting as much game once your timer is done throwing and spinning from the motor scenario. A little simple thing a lot of people don't really think about is this actually this digital timer has a memory setting in there that preserves all the settings that you've got for up to three minutes while you're changing out the batteries itself and that's really important because that's a time saver and in today's world we all like to save time. Another great uh, option here is you can either use a 6 or 12 volt battery for this. Rechargeable batteries are the ones I obviously like to use the most and you've got three different power settings once it comes down to the RPMs you want that motor to turn so you can control the distance that the feed's going to be throwing out. So if you're looking for a feeder that you can easily load in your pickup when you're you know running through town heading it out to your deer lease you're looking for one to set up everything comes contained in this one box right here the instructions are very easy to read very easy to use one person can go out there and set it up deploy it get it ready to go and you're going to be able to feed you know 440 pounds in a variety of feed manners in a variety of times a day check it out the american hunter 440 pound kd feeder You know, coolers are an integral part in people's life. You know, when you go to a hunting camp, uh, you'll see guys wheeling in with, you know, half a dozen to 10 coolers, especially remote camps, uh, so that they can keep their food and drinks cold. And then when they come home, they've got something to hopefully, if they've been successful, pack their game out with. Uh, you know, for us, uh, we use coolers in the hunting and fishing situation, as well as around our family picnics all year round. Um, you know, I look at, at our deer camp and just glance around and it's amazing. You know, we're going to have a couple, three coolers out front with water for sodas and adult beverages for after the hunt. You look in our trucks, there's going to be a cooler. You look in our side by sides, you look strapped to our ATVs, we've got coolers. And the reason being is we want our beverages and we want our items to be cool. But we also don't want to have to go through a lot of coolers. You know, you look back in the old days of some of the $20, $25 throwaway coolers and the old foam ones, they crack, they break, and your beverages and your everything in them is hot and ruined, and the latches fall apart and they break, and I mean, they're just a disaster. I mean, every camp out there, I bet almost every garage at home right now has got one of those old busted coolers. And so, you know, coolers are something I feel you pay for what you get. And Engel, 
is a leader in, in the, the high-end coolers that are gonna not only keep everything cool, they're gonna keep everything, dur it's, it's durable. I mean, it's not gonna break. You're not gonna have to worry about everything falling apart out there. The lid's not gonna fall off like a lot of the cheap ones out there. You can throw it in the back of your ATVs. You can put it in the back of your trucks and not have to worry about it, you know, just getting broke out there. So when you start looking for coolers, you're gonna pay for what you get. You know, whether you're looking for a bag cooler, whether you're looking for a small, you know, 35 quart cooler, or you're looking for a 150 plus quart cooler, you're gonna pay for what you get, and the end result is, if you go cheap, your beverages just are not gonna be as cool for long periods of time, and if you're in a lot of those remote hunting locations, what good is a cooler in those situations? Everything's gonna get hot after 24 hours. Hey, Deer Gear fans, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for current hunting tips, gear, giveaways, and more. And if you have a question, don't hesitate to send us a message, and we'll try to answer it in a show or reply right back. Deer Gear is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Yamaha's proven off-road ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles. Garmin Zero Bowsight. Leave the guesswork behind. As people who love the outdoors, we know what we stand for. We stand for fish, wildlife, and conserving the places they call home. We stand for the traditions we inherited and that we must pass on. We stand for great gear, fair prices, expert service, and memorable experiences. At Bass Pro Shops in Cabela's, we stand together for you. How do you aim a 36-yard shot with a 30-yard fixed pin at a 15-degree angle with a 7-inch holdover without moving a single pin? Easy. You get one of these. Zero. The auto-ranging digital bow sight from Garmin. You know, bow hunting, I can look at a lot of hunts and remember so many details because it's real up close and personal. And I've shot a lot of the Cabela's bows now for, for many, many years that they've been on the market. And, you know, you look at the different models like the regulators and the, cre the credence and, and teaching people about the instigator and now the fortitudes and the different models th that are out there and available today uh, for hunters to go pick up. And, there, and there's a like-minded passion behind all the people at Cabela's when you sit around and talk to that archery team, you know. They enjoy it, they're passionate about it, they, they like to go talk to all the different manufacturers and when they roll out something with their name on it, they're pretty proud of it. We're just out here testing out some of the new equipment uh, with Cabela's. We came out with the new uh, Cabela's Insurgent bow. It's been a really smooth, really good shooting bow. It comes in the new O2 Octane Camo. One thing that we look for with our bows, we really want to get a bow for the masses that your average guy can come in, pick up, and shoot comfortably. So we work with the manufacturers and the bow companies out there and we'll go through and we'll look at different risers, the structure on it, cutouts, the weight on it, along with the limbs and we'll kind of mix and match it in to get a comfortable all-around bow that someone can shoot um, day in, day out, be confident with it and, and be comfortable shooting it. It's a solo cam, it shoots about 320 feet per second. Uh, it's got a six and three quarter brace height, which makes it pretty comfortable. And once you get that six, six three quarter, seven inch brace height, you get a, a pretty forgiving drawback. Uh, it's got a good back wall, comfortable, you can hold it back for quite a while. It's just an all around good bow. I mean, it's a shooting bow, it's a hunting bow. When going through all your gear before a hunting trip, you don't want to forget about the small items that will make the biggest impact. There's probably very few things in the outdoors that make somebody itch and scratch and look around and somebody saying, I found a tick. You know, it's like you can be around a whole group of people at any camp, on any adventure outdoors, somebody goes, oh man, I found a tick, and all of a sudden everybody instantly starts scratching, looking, I don't know what it is, it's just that four letter word gets everybody nervous and scratchy immediately. And you've got to find a way, 
you know, obviously to be outdoors and be able to enjoy everything outdoors, but you know, the, the threat of a tick and the diseases that they carry, it's a real threat. I mean, you hear about people now with different Lyme diseases and other diseases that pop up out there. And so you don't want to stay inside, so how do you find some preventative measures? Well, you prepare for those things. And one of the ways that a person can prepare for it is to prep their clothing, and by doing that, I'm talking about using a product like a permethrin-based product, such as what Sawyer has. That's what we use when it comes to getting ready for a hunting trip, getting ready for a place we know we're going to be outdoors and tall grass or in a place where we could easily, you know, run into a tick. When it comes to preparing your clothing for, uh, you know, avoiding bugs of all types to include the tick, it's you're basically going to hang it up and you're going to spray it and then you're going to let it dry and then you can put it on. And the neat thing about the Sawyer Permethrin products, in my opinion, is you know, you're gonna get multiple washes out of it. So if I'm preparing for a long hunting trip, traveling to Kentucky or wherever it may be, I can take my clothing, put it in a bag, put it in my scent-free box. I can take it out when I get there and know it's prepared and I don't have to spray it on right then because I did it you know, a couple, three weeks before a lot of times that actual hunt. Then when I go to and from the stand, I know I've got a barrier built into my clothing, on my boots, whatever it may be, to help you know, make me not attracted to the ticks and find somebody else. And that's a key deal when you get out into the field. The other benefits of a product like this are obviously flying bugs like mosquitoes and gnats are gonna cause you to swat and move uh, while you're in the field are also gonna be repelled away from you know, your clothing and you personally while you're in the stand. Visit Sawyer.com to learn more about their insect repellents. Hey, Deer Gear fans, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for current hunting tips, gear, giveaways, and more. And if you have a question, don't hesitate to send us a message, and we'll try to answer it in a show or reply right back. Deer Gear is brought to you by Wiley X, absolute premium protection. Engel Coolers, a legend in reliability. Sawyer Products, we keep you outdoors. And by Conquest Sense, hunting and dog sense. The all new Yamaha Wolverine X2. With a compact chassis, perfect for exploring tight technical terrain. An ultra quiet and smooth 850 class twin cylinder engine and next level versatility with a 600 pound dumping cargo bed. No other side by side delivers this level of proven off road performance. The all new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha. Ingalls got the original high performance cooler and a whole lot more. Ingle coolers go with the original. At Sawyer, we use the best technology to make simple products that keep you going regardless of your journey. So whether you're boating, hiking, fishing, camping, or hunting, we keep you outdoors with a full lineup of products to both protect you and make the outdoors more enjoyable. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Protect it or lose it. 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 During this season, we've talked about the newest models of Performance Center handguns from the Smith & Wesson Performance Center, but today we're talking with Tony Mealy about the M&P-10 Performance Center rifle. Tony, the latest from the Performance Center, the M&P-10, and I mean, when you first look at this, 
it's a phenomenal looking piece of machinery, but there's a special cartridge that's gonna come out of this one. Yeah, we're really excited about this gun this year. This is the M&P 10 and 6.5 Creedmoor. So it's a little bit more unique, but I mean, there's a lot of great features to this gun. It's gonna be great for whitetail hunting. I mean, the cartridge was developed for long range shooting. So, you know, if, you, if you've got the opportunity to take a deer at long range, this is a gun that's gonna do it for you. Well, I, I'm, you know, in doing research on that round, you, you understand that a lot of, uh, or you see that a lot of target shooters are really going to this round because of its ex excellent performance. And that's what you want if you're hunting. You know, you wanna be able to put that bullet exactly where you're aiming. You know you've got performance and you've got knockdown power. I mean, that round is, has proven itself not only to be accurate, be able to handle North America's, you know, whitetail out there with ease. Right. I mean, let's go through some of the you features bet. on this gun. This gun is uh, extraordinary. I mean, this is a Troy uh, handguard. It's cut for M-lock. It ships with a two-inch M-lock rail, so you can mount whatever you want to it. Uh, it's got a two-stage match-grade trigger in it. It's got a uh, Magpul buttstock as well as grip. 20-inch uh, barrel. It's threaded, so if you want to put a suppressor right. on it, if you're pig hunting, obviously, yes. you want it quiet, you yep. want to get that next pig that's yep. just coming More down shot. the path, right? 20-inch uh, barrel, 5R rifling, helps reduce you know, bullet deformation, uh, and it's one eight inch twist. The gas system in it is a full length rifle system. Uh, it's just a great overall gun, I mean, for hunting and long range shooting. Accessory wise, coming right out of the box, guys will be able to rig this however they want, and know the performance is gonna be there. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, I mean, we're gonna get to shoot it, we're gonna get to try it yeah. out on, and on some animals, and uh, I think you're gonna be really ecstatic with the, the performance of this gun. Well, everything that comes from the Performance Center is designed to be a, a cut above what comes off the normal factory line. And, you know, I know from the handgun situations and other MPs that I've shot, you know, the performance has been superior in them. So I expect this to be nothing but better than anything else. So, I mean, and not only that, I'm going to look, it's going to look better than me in the field. Just when you immediately look at this, you're drawn to the, the craftsmanship and the look and the style of it. A couple other features I want to point out is this does have an ambi selector on it, mm -hmm. so you can switch it around as well as an ambi uh, mag release. So if you're left-handed, we'll give yep. you a couple of features that'll help you out. And that's important. I mean, you know, coming right out of the box like that gives a guy the ability to be able to maximize his, his performance, his usage to fit their needs while they're in the field. Right. I'm anxious to get it out. I mean, not only to hunt for pigs, because that's something we have to manage here, but taking whitetail and with this and, and providing another opportunity, you know, to experience new ways because I, it's really important to me to be able to hunt with all kinds of different things. Uh, this is going to be a great whitetail gun. It is. Uh, absolutely. Well, that caliber is perfect for it. Up next, Wade is going hunting with the M&P 10 Performance Center rifle, but before he heads out into the field, let's talk safety. You know, safety for a lot of people is, is probably an afterthought when they're heading to and from their stand. You know, they're so excited to get out in the field. Uh, that they forget those common things. You know, when you get into a vehicle, one of the first things you do is put your, your uh, seatbelt on. That's what we do when we hop in our Vikings. But the other things we're trying to always do is make sure we've got a helmet on, make sure that we've got uh, goggles or safety glasses on when we're driving around in the field. And you know, I, I gotta admit, when I first started thinking about all those things, it was some of the furthest things from my mind. But I guess maybe I've gotten a little older probably gotten a little wiser in there, but I can't tell you how many times I've been driving around uh, and, and you know rocks are flying up and hitting you in the face or brush is hitting you there that those goggles and safety glasses are so important. So take a moment and always gear up properly for the ride. You know, make sure you got that safety gear on, make sure you're wearing it properly, put that uh, you know, seat belt on and watch those, those underage riders out there. Make sure that they've been properly educated and that they're being as safe and prepared as you are because once they head out in the field, they a lot of times think they're invincible, but we all know that things just happen. But if you're prepared, maybe if something does happen, it won't be as catastrophic. Don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for current hunting tips, gear, giveaways, and more. And if you have a question, don't hesitate to send us a message. Deer Gear is brought to you by 10 point crossbows. Perfection lives here. Hi Viz. See what you've been missing. And by Man versus Nature. It's a tale as old as time. An external struggle pitting the hero against an animal in a battle of strength and wits. 
to see who will come out victorious. Will you accept the challenge? Performance Center by Smith & Wesson. Performance when it matters most. When I was in special ops, every item had a purpose or it got left behind. It's no different today. If it doesn't protect me or help me perform at the highest level, I've got no use for it. Otherwise, I don't come back with whatever it is I set out to get. Wiley X, ballistic rated eyewear. We plan all year for this. We hone our skills. We have confidence in the gear we choose. We pour over thousands of images and videos. When the time comes, will you be ready? Introducing the all-new 4K camera by StealthCam. Proven. Introducing the Stealth NXT, the narrowest and most accurate 10-point crossbow ever. Measuring an ultra-narrow 6 inches wide, the Stealth NXT unleashes devastating speeds up to 410 feet per second, generating jaw-dropping kinetic energy and match-grade downrange accuracy, all on a whisper-quiet shot, three times quieter than the competition. The all-new Stealth NXT from 10-point. Many said that we were just obsessed when we started, that there had to be an easier way to smoke food. As time passed, the Bradley family created a lineup of Bradley electric smokers that has made it easier for the novice or even expert chef to get perfect results every time they use it. Grab yourself a Bradley smoker and take your cooking to an all new level. Welcome back to Cabela's Deer Gear TV. Wade is out hunting with the all-new M&P 10 Performance Center Rifle in 6.5 Creed more, making this a great setup for taking those long-range shots with maximum stopping power. Yeah, we got a late afternoon set up right here on a big food plot. You know, based on the rains, these food plots in this part of the world in Texas will be good or bad, feast or famine. You know, we've still got a lot of oats out there right now, so if you've got oats in this part of the world, you're going to have a lot of deer pile into it. Really don't know what we're going to see as we sit here this evening. You know, overall, this location, you know, there's lots of trails coming from this Weesatch Flat right over here in front of us. It's really kind of a wet weather creek and, and really good years it goes that way. Back off to my left is a big mesquite flat where a lot of these deer are going to be bedding from. Historically, you'll see a lot of deer come out in this little shady area on these high-pressure bluebird, little warmer afternoons. And then as that shadow begins to build, those deer will mill around out there more and more. We've got a, a fawn that ran across already going that way, and then we've got a pretty mature doe off in the distance. So we're going to just kind of sit here and enjoy the afternoon. And we're going to be using the new Smith & Wesson m and 10 from the Performance Center in 6.5 Creedmoor. You know, that caliber is really kind of taking the, the shooting match world by storm in, in recent years. And Smith & Wesson just recently launched this new platform here to be able to, you know, provide hunters and shooters, whether you're a target shooter, whether you're a match shooter, whether you're a hunter like me, a new platform and a new cartridge to be able to get out and enjoy. So this particular gun right here, it's got a great two-stage match trigger. It's built to be able to perform a long distance shooting. It's got a 20 inch barrel on it. And uh, it's a pretty fun gun to shoot. When I take it down to the range, I, I find myself just wanting to pull the trigger, pull the trigger, pull the trigger for, you know. So we'll put it to the test hopefully this evening on a white tail.
Jada. That's what I'm talking about right there. You know, if you look at the history of hunting rifles, dating back to World War II range, guys came back with both action rifles. And before then, and now you look at what came out of the you know, recent military events going on from Vietnam to Afghanistan and Iraq wars and it's this type of a frame and it is deadly accurate and super fun to shoot this is the new MP10 in 6.5 Creedmoor and I think you'll see us playing with this a lot more coming up I mean this cartridge is designed to do long range shooting right there that's probably a little over 200 yards and you know I get just as excited shooting a doe as I do shooting someone big antlers because you know what at the end of the day that's venison in the crock pot you know how fun is that to sit out here in a big old food plot like that and you see deer just coming in and a lot of young bucks you know chasing does beginning of the rut right now and you know the sun's getting pretty low you can see it over there we decided we needed to go ahead and keep working on our doe management and that was fun whether it's a big big buck or a, a doe like we got right there that was a lot of fun you know everybody talks about management and how many you have to take and that just goes without saying but you know for a lot of people deer hunting's about you know putting putting meat on the table right there and that's what we just did right there we we always shoot a lot of does because we eat a lot of venison but right now we're actually trying to make sausage that we send out for christmas so that tag on this one right here will help fill out the christmas presents and there'll be a lot of people enjoying this one to learn more about the M&P 10 Performance Center rifle, visit smith-wesson.com and click on Performance Center. That will do it here for Cabela's Deer Gear TV. We'll see you next time. What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. That smells good. And then pouring each container. Once it's cooled, each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom from Conquest Scents. High Viz Shooting Systems knows that your shooting performance matters in all conditions. All High Viz shooters experience faster target acquisition with our durable LightWave sights. Featuring easily interchangeable light pipes, LightWave sights give your eyes the exact sight picture you crave. Shoot High Viz. See what you've been missing. Purina's Quick Draw is the perfect solution for attracting deer to your location and providing them with the essential nutrients that will encourage their growth. Use these blocks where you can and I promise you, not only are you going to see more game, but the game's going to benefit from you placing it out.